What do you call a sad cup of coffee? A depresso. Many of us cannot imagine our day without having a cup of coffee. We all crave for it, especially when we wake up in the morning. Actually, it's not the coffee that we crave for, but a special component which is present in the coffee. And the special component I'm talking about is none other than caffeine. Wait a second, what exactly is caffeine? And what is so special about this component that it can bring us back to life? Let's find out. To begin with, caffeine is a stimulant. That is, it stimulates various activities in our body. Stimulates? In what sense? It helps us to stay alert, focused, makes us feel energetic and more importantly, it keeps us awake and happy. Quite a few, right? This stimulating substance can be found naturally in more than 60 plants. To name a few, it can be extracted from the seeds of coffee beans, cacao beans and cola nuts. But we know that anything that stimulates us can be considered as a drug. So tell me, is it right to call caffeine a drug? Absolutely. Now what happens when this drug called caffeine enters our body? What special power does it have to make one active? Aren't you curious? Let's begin with the journey of caffeine in our body and see what revelation it has for us. Consider this situation. After long hours of any activity, we tend to feel tired and sleepy. The main culprit for our tiredness is a chemical molecule known as adenosine, which is a sleep-inducing molecule. When we are continuously doing any activity or during the course of the day, adenosine molecules slowly get accumulated in our brain. Our brain has receptors which help in collecting these molecules. These adenosine molecules bind with these receptors and make us feel tired and drowsy. If we are able to relax a bit in such a situation, we are lucky. But if we are not that lucky, then we definitely need a saviour to rescue us from being tired and drowsy. And who is going to help us? You guessed it right, it's the caffeine. The structure of a caffeine molecule looks similar to that of an adenosine molecule. Caffeine molecules fight with the adenosine molecules and take the place of adenosine to bind with the receptors. Once these caffeine molecules bind with the receptors, our brain is charged up with energy and we feel fresh. All this happens within a span of 20 minutes. Amazing, isn't it? Now, do you think the effect of caffeine remains in our body forever? Obviously not. That's because the life of caffeine is approximately 5 to 6 hours. After that, the effect of caffeine reduces in our body and gradually our brain slows down its activities. That is, we are back to being tired and drowsy. After all, it's a stimulating drug and the effect wears off. To charge up again, our brain demands another cup of coffee. Alright, now tell me, if we start consuming coffee frequently, does it mean that we would remain more energetic and fresh all the time? No, that's not true. Our brain is smarter than we think it is. It starts creating more adenosine receptors, which means that even though we consume more coffee, the overall effect of caffeine will not be that significant. Isn't that great? Now guess what? Caffeine not only makes us energetic but also happy. It's like our happy pill. One cup of coffee down our throats and we are cheerful. How does this happen? Let's understand. Caffeine has a power to induce the effect of dopamine in our body. And what exactly is dopamine? Dopamine is an organic substance that is released when we engage in pleasing activities like eating an amazing meal, listening to our favourite music, hugging the loved ones and of course after having a sip of coffee. And do you know what happens when dopamine level decreases in our body? It leads to diseases like Parkinson and Alzheimer. 
does, caffeine plays a major role in maintaining the dopamine levels. An interesting thing to note here is that caffeine is not only found in coffee, but also in tea, soft drinks, chocolates and in caffeine pills in desired quantities. Wow, so much happiness around us. But wait, earlier we've seen that caffeine is an addictive drug and acts as a stimulant. As every drug taken in large amount is harmful, do you think even caffeine is? Is it possible to overdose caffeine in our body? And what would happen if a coffee addict suddenly stops drinking coffee? This is your cue box to explore. Take a sip of coffee and tell us your findings in the comment section below. Do subscribe to our channel to learn interesting concepts. Happy learning!